Hello my friends and welcome to part 10 of the SP My Deck Challenge. So in today's episode I'll be going through the next Lona deck. My, my spin on it which is called Quiet Strength. Okay so I need um so basically this is Silent Swordsman plus Silent Magician. It's all of the silent level guys along with the gadgets to make for a few x deck plays I can use them for I can also use them for discard fodder for the nightmares so they because they like help keep my hand stocked for that so that's actually kinda nice too so they kinda work well for that reason as well. that's nice um, and then of course like a few cards I use like to like level up a little bit easier to cheat out my level guys like to level up I think is that it hmm. anyway let's go into it here I'll um cycle through the deck in case you want to uh, didn't mean to do that in case you want to see all the cards Of course, it can't just go on to Marsh Malin. Whatever. So here's all the cards. Change active window. What does that even mean? Oh. Man, I wish there was a way to scroll through them. But I think it's because, like, with the Lona decks, like, you can't change them. They're not yours. So... But still, I'll just show you, um, show you it this way. So good. Like, you can pretty much see everything there. Yeah, so here's a little scroll. Here's a scroll. This is just talking about the hard ones per turn, the fact that it's a hard ones per turn. Oh, and you can only activate one once per turn, too. But I only have one anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And then, of course, the Payless Orcs. I think you've seen them quite a bit. So you probably have a good general idea of what the Payless Orcs do. This is kind of like my OTK if I can go into level 8. Try to get an OTK. May not always work out, but if I have other exceeds on the field... It kind of works well, like with the f if like my opponent has exceeds or if I have exceeds. Um, this one for this the whole like the the last effect doesn't really matter. It's just there to like get rid of set cards. This is also there to get rid of back row, kind of the same way. Although the other card can get rid of set monsters, probably not gonna come up, but. It is nice that it has that additional. This is mostly to negate everything. Though if I wanted to, I could put it into attack position so that my opponent can't target it and can't be destroyed by my opponent's card effects. Although it does have a little bit of a timer on it. Um and then Aegean is actually kinda nice because it can like banish like a random card in my opponent's sex deck, like if if it's a really good card that's kind of cool but my opponent might be playing duplicates I'm not sure but it does gain attack equal to the banished monster and it can like um destroy one of my other opponent's monsters as long as the type equals whatever I banish basically and then Heart of Dragon is it also has a fairly nice effect if I'd rather go into this like if I can OTK with the um by going into a drug lubian first. I didn't notice that it has a way to get itself back if it's like destroyed. It gains a thousand attack for every card banished. That's kind of nice. Um, so it can basically turn from like my opponent. Like from basically like making my opponent take damage. To like maybe a threat. 
Um, but it's only while it has exceed material. So if I like remove the exceed material, then actually, um, like it's only gonna have one exceed material, so it may not come up actually. That's and then also lay a Zeus just to get rid of a bunch of cards. Yeah, and then of course a little bit of a nightmare package and axe go because this is like still the best way to like definitely close out games. Some may say it's a little too strong though. I was wondering about that. Would you rather me not playing these? Like do you think they're too good at closing out games? Or do you think they're fine? Maybe I could just simply play like the nightmares if you think or or maybe like you just think links in general might be a little too strong the generic links in general um because some of these decks do play links but usually the links they play are like a lot weaker in comparison and i do get how links can be considered a little bit strong because unlike exceeds where you need like two specific maybe more specific monsters at the same level like these can be pretty much any two monsters you got and it's pretty easy to put to, to put um, two different monsters on the field and maybe like Phoenix plus one other monster on the field or like even this is like super generic too so I don't know I'm not talking about the links that like if there's ever a link that like is already including the deck I'm just talking about those links those nightmares that are super generic and or the axe code that's also generic materials as well it may be just a little bit too strong, a little bit too easy to go into. I think the exceeds are a little bit more justifiable because they're a little bit harder to go into. Maybe synchros if I ever have tuners, but I don't think I had any tuners for this. I don't usually have tuners, I don't think. I don't think th like a lot of these decks have really focus too much on synchros. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to try this. I think it was a difficulty 5 this time. The monster reborn is kind of nice. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, I can monster reborn their Dark Magician. That wait. Never mind. Um, so I could Dark Mag That's actually not too bad. And then I can simply know some of the red gadget. But hold on. Oh, Then equip those targets this con. Hmm. Interesting. Well, either way, I think I should do the red gadget. This allows me special summon. But I think I'd rather wait. Actually. Here, yeah, right here is pretty good. Now I think about it. Oh, and this actually is really nice because now I'll be able to have this be at 2000 here. So first I can go for Nightmare Phoenix, discarding the yellow gadget to get rid of the, the back row. And now I can just use this, grab the two gadgets. And this gives him 2,000 attack. Unicorn. I could go for Unicorn, but I don't think I will. Cool. 
And now I'll go ahead and set this. I think that should be pretty good. Hmm. That wasn't bad. Ah, uh, fusion summon. Yeah. Can't exactly do anything about that. Okay, well, now I'm going to do the only noises. I mean, they do come in handy, though, the links. Like, in a case like this, like, I would generally have no way to get rid of the Dark Magicians. But... But because I have um, Unicorn in my in my X deck, I can get rid of the Dark Magicians and better yet, not proc its um, destruction effect because it's only when it's destroyed and this doesn't destroy it, it just spins it back into the X deck. The Unicorn. So, I mean, like, if I didn't have... Yeah, I think if I didn't have, if it wasn't for the links, I probably would be in trouble right here. So I don't know. I'm kind of liking the links, but I do understand how they can sometimes feel a little strong. I think. Negate your opponent's spell effects that target this card. Um, I guess I can go for the Marshmallow. Return that to the deck. Could my opponent not proc the effect? I thought they had an effect to draw a card with that. Guess they couldn't use it? That's confusing. But I mean, my opponent could still just get rid of this and like end up taking game. It's not like too hard to get rid of it. Like if they get lucky and like s summon a Dark Magician in this case or something. Or like maybe this. That's not enough though. Yeah, I mean right there like they still took it out. So it's not like it's an automatic win. I should have done Marshmallow. Hey, Kanadi actually works pretty well with the levels. As long as my opponent doesn't put out another... Oh boy. Now I kind of wish I would have kept the Marshmallow. Oh, actually, this is fine. Luckily, my opponent didn't put down another monster. Oh, also, um... The new update came out, but I don't think it really changed all too much. Like, just yet. Like, more just, like, notifications about how, like, um, the pack for the sprites is coming out. I think I'm going to try Runic Sprites with the Frog Engine. Because even though Totally Awesome is banned, which is, like, the main reason people are playing the Frog Engine, um, in sprites... Like, the Frog Engine is still really good while you still... Oh, yeah, see, this is a little bit different. Because instead of, like, say, confirming, it says Effect Activation. Which I think is a little bit more helpful for, like, newer players. Just so they, like... And for, like, people in general, just so, like, you know exactly what's going on. Um. But anyway, as I was saying, like, um... I think the frog engine should still be good in in the runic sprite deck in in the runic sprite deck um because um Ronin Totem is still nice at like we like recurring itself by banishing frogs so it's still nice as like a, pretty much a free special summon so it's nice for that it gives you like a 
an easily special summonable level 2 still. So that's pretty nice. Even though you can't go into totally awesome. Still think it's worth it enough. And I don't want Frogs to be completely dead. Even though my totally awesome is gone. There's a mate. They apparently change a mate a bit. But I'm not really noticing much. Maybe they change a little bit of its animation. Stacked him. To make him act more like a frog. I'm not sure. I think it was more about the design though. I don't know. I can't really tell a difference. If anyone knows. They can like let me know. What exactly would change about it. Oh I can't even special summon. Oh yeah because now I lost my link 3. Kind of stinks. This one is kind of nice. Because now it's unaffected by my opponent's spell effects. Oh, I should have attacked. I I wasn't thinking. Ooh, now I can do the Canadia. And bring out one of my rank 2s. So it wouldn't matter either way. Because, like, this guy cannot... Actually, it wouldn't matter. Because of the Magician's Rod. Dang it. I don't know why I didn't attack with the Paleozoics first. Oh well. I'll just do this. Apparently the reinforcement is dead for whatever reason. That kind of stinks. What can I go into? Oh, downer. Yeah, it's fine. And it will still proc my Paleozoic Engrave, which is nice. Um, I'm going to go for Domiscus, though. Getting rid of the Dark Magician, I guess. Oh, man. And because it wasn't from the graveyard, it was a trap effect, not a trap activation. It doesn't proc my... Canadia. Man. For each material attached to it. So it's still gonna get 20, become 2500. I guess I'll still put it out. Just so like my pulling can't just easily destroy it. Ah, whatever. Man. Oh, there's the Tamias play. They're destroying it anyway. Wait, what? Detach one material. That doesn't matter. It's still going to be destroyed anyway. Oh, it had to inflict bow damage. Dang it. I really messed up. Well, at least the Ole Noides maybe can help out a little bit. I don't know. Whatever. Dang. Drawing one. Oh, that's a good combo. They placed that on the top so they could get a free special summon. Wow. Still not enough, though, so that's good. I might still have a chance. Oh, a little too late for that. Yeah. I'm just going to retry. 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave a verse down in the description today. Um, and I'm not gonna show off my pack opening. I open a few packs for the Runix because, um, that, like, um, selection pack is expiring in a few days. That includes the Runix and Labyrinths. I got a few Runix and Labyrinths, which is pretty cool. I got, like, a copy of Tip, a few more copies of the other Runic cards. So, but, and it also was good because now it brought up my, like, rares and, like, normal CP up to a really good level, too. So, that's really nice. For like helping craft all these rares and normals I usually have to craft for each of these loan index. Um, like all, each of these like spin on the loan index. Um, and then I just crafted my way into like um, the other URs and SRs. And then now I'm pretty much down on gems again. So I think I'm just going to wait until I get my gems up before even trying for the sprites. <clears throat> but that's fine. I can just play something else instead uh, until that happens. I just want to try out runic sprites in this game since, like, they're, like, really expensive in the main TCG. So, at least it gives me a way to see how it would have been. Because I'm probably never not, not going to be picking up the deck in the main TCG for a while especially like now that like the the like I guess like more of the pure build is a little bit um it's a little bit weakened because of the banning of elf for the TCG so people might like just like go for the runic builds even more now so the the runic sprites or maybe even just pure runics um, because Runix didn't get hit at all. And so that might, like, help, like, also strengthen up the deck. So, I'm thinking the Runic cards might stay expensive for a while. At least the, like, Tip and the Fountain, which are the big ones. So, yeah. That's a little unfortunate. But, this isn't that unfortunate. I should have kept, probably kept the... Oh, well, I'll just do this. Man, so unfortunate that I... I, I kind of... Oh, well, I still have this as, like, a trap activation that allows me to get the... Palozooks. Kind of wish I would have. Man, I really should have, um... Kept a car in hand. I wasn't thinking... It's fine. One for one. Here, yeah, I should probably do this. Just so my opponent can activate the... This effect. And, and now I think it gives them one less draw. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they both would have. So, instead of drawing two, it, they can only draw one. Although I could have probably flipped that face down so they would have drawn zero, but... Oh, so now the targeting a card. Oh. I guess I'll see what they target first. Oh, wait, I guess they can't destroy anything. Okay, that's good. Okay, there's the Dark Magician. Crap. Well, whatever. I'm just going to put this in a f in face down the fence in order to be able to proc my other Kanadia. No, because I can save that in order to proc my other the Kanadia. That'll be soon being put in the graveyard. Or I could just use the Diamiscus. I think I'll wait so I can use the Diamiscus first. Hmm. Does that count as a machine gadget? I don't know. I don't think so. 
I don't know if I want to like Yeah, I think I better, um... And then it procs the Canadia. Yeah, that's fine. That summons in defense. Because now I can just do the Opabinia. And then the Opabinia can add probably the Ole Noides. And then Ole Noides can destroy the face down. Hmm. That's fine. It only plays on top of the deck. So now I can go for the Phoenix if I want to, which I probably should. Yeah, I should definitely go for the. Yeah, I should. Actually, I forget now what, how much defense. Oh, it has 2,000 defense. Now I remember. Dang. Yeah, I guess I might as well go for the Phoenix. Actually, if I go for the unicorn, st crap. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. I, I forgot. Whatever. I'm just going to end then. Yep, special summoning that. But maybe they'll bring out... Fine, just draw a card. Dang. Fine. I think I kind of will take it. I'm gonna wait. Because I don't really want to discard the monster. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I'd much rather just discard the trap. Because now I get to keep the monster. Which is pretty nice. Although I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes. Because I lost out on my... Yeah, I think I lost. I'm just going to retry again. So hopefully this is the time when I make it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a pack opening either. I kind of lost on both, but that's okay. I'll definitely show my what, what the runic sprite kind of looks like what my deck kind of looks like um once i get it it's probably gonna be a little while though so don't count on me f to be the first one to show it off just because i'm out of gems once again and i'm not one of those guys who just buy a bunch of gems whenever a new set comes out hmm Swords is pretty nice to get 
to get this ranked up. But the only problem is if my opponent destroys the swords, that kind of stinks. But still, I think that's probably my best option. Don't really have a lot of good options, which is... See, I think the um, links actually really help. It kind of makes it a little bit more fair. I might as well set this to... Hopefully my opponent doesn't get rid of my whole back row. I'm not sure if they can exactly. Although Dark Magical Circle can banish something, so... Hmm. Okay, so I think if I do this, I end up drawing zero cards. I think I'm just going to do one, though. So they draw one less. Because it... Oh. Wait, they still end up drawing zero cards? Whatever. I think it's 2,000, same stats as Dark Magician. I'll go ahead and do the Kanadia still, I think. I mean, I don't really need to. Maybe I won't. Because I kind of need to inflict damage in order for the, it to level up again. So it's probably better that I don't do the Kanadia. Although, nah, it's fine. It's too bad. I'm just going to do this. Might as well get it going. Okay, so now I can do... I need to make sure I inflict damage so that it can rank up again. Okay. And now I'll just end. This is also kind of nice for helping me get material on the field to eventually go into my better link plays. Help me make, help me link up. Cool. Oh, it actually has 2100 defense. So 100 more defense than Dark Magician. Interesting. Wait, what? That's weird. Do I not have a level seven? Maybe that's one of the SRs that you was I got I had to get rid of. Huh. Well that's interesting. Might as well go for red gadget here. Okay, so now what I can do I'll do this. Oh, I could actually go for Baguska. But I don't think I will. Actually, hmm. The nice thing about AA Zeus is it wouldn't get rid of my Paleozoic Canadia. Maybe I should just go for Baguska so I can go for a Zeus because that's actually really nice against my opponent yeah I remember he has a hundred fence oh crap I should have attacked with the Baguska first Dang it. 
It, it, it can still be a story battle. No. Well, I guess I gotta go with the Phoenix. That, this really stinks. I forgot it had the effect of summon out Dark Magician. Uh, whatever. Um. Guess I should destroy that one. Guess that was good. And then Nightmare Unicorn can spin back the Dark Magician, I guess. I wonder if it should have spun back the Dark Magician. Ah. Okay, that's good. Maybe I won't, though. Okay, now I need to. Oh, it calls for effect monsters. Ah. Uh. Oh well, maybe my opponent won't be able to. Won't be able to take me out right away. Good. Okay, good. I think that counts as an effect monster. It does. Okay, that's good. So now I can go for my Axis Code. And assuming my opponent doesn't have anything. Should be able to win here. And the nice thing about Axis Code is that they can't activate the trap in response to this okay so I just gotta hope that other face down isn't anything but I don't think it would be I think my point would have activated it good okay cool I think that was a third duel good enough Yeah, I know I've been kind of like... Well, I shouldn't. Okay, cool. I got the Legacy Pack. Um... I hope you guys appreciate the, um... The thank yous in the description. Because I know I haven't always been remembering to say them at the correct times and sometimes people may have left before I had said them in the video anyway so I think it's good either way that's cool so now the next um video will be on the SP deck challenge 2 which is kinda basically the same I don't think there's like too big of a difference between the part 1 and part 2 I think it's about the same level of difficulty as well. This one might be like more focused on like fusions though. A, lo a lot of them like have like more of a focus on fusions. I don't know. Or maybe easier to summon fusions or something. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's like too huge of a difference. Anyway, um. Maybe it's more focused on the actual anime decks, although I think some of these can be considered anime decks too, so. 
I mean, the picture is at a little bit nicer, I think. This just has that. And then this actually has, like, two monsters fighting, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, go into the outro now. So, thank you all who stayed for the, um, duels. And a big thank you to everyone who stayed for the whole video. Um, even if you just stayed for, like, the winning duel, still, I'd like to thank you as well. Um, which I think you can all, like, I, I, I think it's pretty obvious that's, like, always gonna be the final duel. So I don't think I really need to, like, like, ex um, specifically say which one it is. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to the outro now. Please like, share, and subscribe, and consider ringing that notification bell for regular content. You can either ring the notification bell to be notified of all my videos or personalized by simply clicking the notification bell and selecting all are personalized. All is being notified about all my videos, whether you watch them or not, and personalized is being notified of the videos that you watch the most. Also, if you would like to leave a comment, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, you can leave a comment about anything, either pertaining to the video, pertaining to the verse I leave in the description, or just something random if you'd like. Just please keep it appropriate. You can even leave an emote if you would like, but just be aware that it may lock you out if you... Um, too many of the same emote in a day just in case like if you decide one day you just paste um, emotes on a whole bunch of my videos just keep that in mind um, usually you can fix that by either going with a different emote or by posting multiples of that emote um, instead of just the one um. Um, th and thank you everyone who do watch um, my my videos and a big thanks to those who do um, watch all of my videos but still thank you to everyone who only watches um, a couple once in a while or just watches um, one one of the games I understand how it is no matter how you do it. It's just appreciated um, n no matter what, no matter how you decide to go about um, viewing my videos.